Hey everybody, today is February 25th and I'm coming today to put out two dreams. Um, one that I had about a year ago and uh, the second one will be one that I had just the other night. Uh, the first one was real quick. Um, I was in a town and um, I was just walking down the street. I had my pajamas on. I saw that there was a coat on the ground and I stooped over, picked it up and I wrapped it around myself. And then I um, kept walking down the street and all of the buildings were deserted. The whole town, downtown was deserted. All the buildings were shut down. And I heard somebody say, yell out, all the businesses are closed. And then the scene changed and I heard someone yell out, if you want to keep driving your car, you'll have to get your handprint. And then I yelled out, no, don't do that. It's a setup to take the mark of the beast. And that was all there was to that one dream. Now, you guys need to listen to the dream carefully because I did not say that taking you getting your handprint was the mark of the beast. I said it was a setup to take the mark of the beast. Okay? So, um... Okay, that was the first dream. The second dream I just had the other night. Okay, so, um, all right. Okay, so I was in this big, huge room, big, massive, massive room. And everybody was gathered together, sitting at tables. Uh, the tables were long and they were end to end. And everybody was, had been forced to go sit at these tables. Okay, and there was military personnel all sitting in chairs along the walls. But, I mean, there, everybody, families were all gathered together, family. So it was me, my mom and dad. We were sitting at a table. And every, every, all the families were gathered together and they were forced to, um, they were forced to sit here at these tables. And like I said, the military uh, was there and they had... Uh, they're the ones who gathered around us all up and they forced us to sit at these tables. If we wanted to do anything at all, even go to the bathroom, we had to go to the restroom. You had to go ask the military for permission. I mean, can you imagine here you are 80 years old and you have to go ask permission to go to the bathroom? You've got to be kidding, but it's going to happen. Okay, the scene changed and I was... Um, in a downtown area and every single building was shut down. Every single store was shut down. There was no food, no food available to anyone. And then I came across this one store and it was shut down, but there was a girl and a guy sitting out front and she had a cold drink in her hand, sipping on it. And I said, where'd you get that from? She goes, oh, well, you had to ask permission over here to be able to, you had to get special permission to go get this. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then all of a sudden the scene changed. My husband and I were in my old, I had an old Toyota Tundra. And uh, we were in that. And uh, we were driving down a road. And my husband said, well, we need to go and gather wood. We got to put wood all in the back of the truck so we can burn it for our food. And I said, oh, well, that's a great idea. I said, but uh, excuse me, where's the food coming from? And he says, well, we're going to go get a banana tree. And I said, where are you going to get a banana tree from? So um, his plan was to go out in the, uh, like the woods and, and try to survive out in the woods away from all the military and stuff like that. Okay, so that was the end of the second dream. So that dream right there shows you, yes, America is going to go into captivity. There's going to be an economic collapse. There will be no food, and uh, the military is going to be 100% in control. You will have to ask permission to do any and everything. So it's coming. And um, all I can tell you guys is you need to get right with Jesus. You need to get right with Jesus. I, You know, God didn't tell me when something like this was going to happen. He just shows me this stuff. That's it. And I'm reporting what I'm seeing. Okay. That's all I can do. All right. So, uh, the economic collapse is coming. 
food shortages is, is coming to America and captivity is coming to America. Okay? So, your only hope is Jesus Christ. I mean, you could you could die today of a car wreck. Are you ready? Are you are you ready to go with Jesus? Are you ready to meet your maker? I don't know. But I just say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, please, Father, in the name of Jesus, just please take everybody's scales off their eyes. Let all their ears open up so they can hear these warnings. And help us just to stand in faith, walk in obedience, come out of the things of the world. Father, I just pray blessings upon every single person in this entire world and upon and upon the people of this nation to come out of the disgusting Satan's agenda that he has written out for every one of us to swallow, should we choose to. God bless us all on this day. Goodbye.